Severe arthritis of the shoulder has historically been an end of the good life sentence. Restricted range of motion means you can't even reach overhead or throw a ball or get a can of sardines you're craving from a high shelf. More often than pain with movement makes you feel like a prisoner in your own body. And as such, as it gets really bad, you can't even sleep. To make matters even worse, the treatments either don't really work very much or they actually make you feel worse than the arthritis itself. Medications rot your body. Therapy is great for frozen shoulders, but it doesn't really make any difference or change the arthritis. Injections hurt and then they work great for a really short time. And then finally, the granddaddy of them all, total shoulder replacement surgery, is notoriously painful. It requires a long time to heal up. You gotta wear a sling. And quite frankly, the internet is chock full of people who say their shoulders hurt worse after total shoulder replacement than they did before. Well, in this video, I've got some good news for you. There's been a breakthrough in total shoulder replacement, and it comes down to one simple decision between you and your doctor. Once you find out this one simple thing, you will know the secret to getting on with a happy, pain-free life in which you can reach all the sardines you ever want to eat today on Best Practice. When orthopedic surgeons started doing total shoulder replacements, there were a lot of good results, but there were also a lot of terrible ones. I mean, people who were worse off after the very painful surgery than they were before. But the pain didn't subside after the recovery. People got on Facebook and they started talking about botched surgery, severe pain, I wished I'd never had it done, repeat surgery, that didn't help very much either. Orthopedic surgeons are absolutely awesome, but they're people just like me and you, and people have learning curves. So as it turns out, there was a subset of patients, those who had severe shoulder arthritis, due to long-standing rotator cuff tears. In those people, their shoulders were not strong enough for total shoulder replacement. They're the ones who were having all the bad results because their shoulders couldn't handle the anatomic implants. Let me start to explain that by going over what an anatomic implant actually is. Your shoulder is a joint and it's composed of a ball on the arm bone, as well as a socket that's in the scapula. In an anatomic total shoulder replacement, an orthopedic surgeon replaces your nasty old arthritic ball with a fresh new one made out of titanium. And similarly, your ratty old worn out cartilage destroyed arthritic socket gets an upgrade. For people with an intact rotator cuff, that works great. It's just like it is for hip and knee replacement. It's a two hour surgery. No hospital stay is necessary. The pain is totally manageable at home for a few days and a few weeks of therapy and then bada boom, bada bing, six weeks later you have total recovery. Okay, but what about this group of people who have arthritis due to an old rotator cuff tear? In those people, anatomic total shoulder replacement just doesn't work, but I have some good news for them too. And it comes down, believe it or not, to listening to the French. First we had French fries, then we had French toast, and now French shoulders. When I first heard about this, to be honest, it seemed crazy to me. The French idea was to reverse the implants literally backwards, make the old ball the new socket and make the old socket the new ball. Zut alors, are you insane? You'll need an MRI first, right? Because you have to know if you have the rotator cuff, but it absolutely worked. 
In these people who had the rotator cuff tears, a reverse shoulder, their shoulder, was strong enough to lift it. Well, regardless of the type of surgery you need, if you pick the wrong surgery, it's going to be a disaster. So what we want to do right now is find a surgeon who can do the right job on the right person. But what about the cost? Isn't total shoulder replacement really expensive? No. Total shoulder replacement is actually very affordable. Total shoulder replacement is now the standard of care for the treatment of severe shoulder pain due to arthritis. And as such, total shoulder replacement is included in the coverage guidelines for commercial insurance policies from Blue Cross Blue Shield, United, Cigna, HealthNet, Humana, Aetna, Medicare, everybody. Your out-of-pocket cost for total shoulder replacement, of course, depends on your policy. There are a few policy factors to consider. First, the deductible and the coinsurance. You gotta pay whatever's left of your annual deductible. There's no getting out of that. Also, your coinsurance is the part that you pay up to your out-of-pocket maximum. Now, for Medicare and most commercial policies, that coinsurance is 20% for the doctor as well as 20% for the facility. The second thing is whether your providers are in-network or out-of-network. For providers who accept Medicare or are contracted with your commercial insurance network, the allowable charge for total shoulder replacement, it's been agreed upon in advance. Whereas an out-of-network provider may have a totally different payment arrangement. Third thing to help you afford this is whether you have surgery in a hospital or an ambulatory surgery center. The allowable is the price that your insurance negotiates and it depends entirely on where your surgery is performed. Ambulatory surgery centers are generally less expensive, better liked, and frankly have safer statistics than hospitals. If you need help estimating your out-of-pocket cost for commercial policies and, you know, frankly, who wouldn't, call us. We can help you do that. We can look up your policy and figure out your out-of-pocket charge for free. For best practice, I'm Dr. Dan Lieberman. If you have a question you would like answered on Best Practice Live, click the link to our website and complete the submission form. The more information you can give us, the better we can answer your question. So please contact us and we can walk you through uploading your imaging to a secure server. Please like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with information about your spine and joint health.